My name is Carrie Winterstein, and I am playing Zelda. Um, she is Dr. Zelda Mildred Kahn, and she is a professor of biology at a school in uh, Cambridge. So um, the assumption is she's at Harvard. <laughs> what was it about the script that sparked your interest in the show? You know, this is one of those plays, and I read a lot of plays, that sucked me in from the first page. It um, was clear that these characters were, um, that there's something going on in their relationship and they're really struggling with how to talk with one another, even though one might assume they have a lot in common and conversation should be easy. And so there's this sense of unfolding mystery as to what is the relationship between the two of them and um, why is it that some of the most comfortable and, and um, mundane things to talk about are actually difficult and the really heady science is actually a place where they bond and spark immediately. So you have a very impressive resume when it comes to the theater, but yeah. I would assume that with every new show brings with it new challenges. So what are some of the challenges that you faced in making the how and the why? Um, well, one of the challenges for me, honestly, is that I haven't been on the stage for a couple of years now. Um, COVID has changed the pattern of that work for me. And um, it just so happens that I went through menopause <laughs> during COVID. So the way that my brain works on memorization, um, on some of the tools and tricks that I've had um, from a year, you know, years and years in the theater, they weren't necessarily as reliable as they used to be. And that's been an interesting process for me to both recognize and um, and work on as an actor. So in that way, it's actually presented new challenges. Um, and particularly, I would say the science is really an interesting uh, challenge as an actor. It's one thing to say words. We can memorize lots and lots of words, but to make sense of it and then interpret that and explain it in a way that the audience will understand is really an interesting acting challenge. It, it, um, it almost immediately places you in that role of being a professor when you are explaining complex scientific ideas to potentially an audience that's not as familiar with them. This is a uh, deeply personal and intimate play. You know, it's two characters on stage talking to each other. So as you worked on this show, are there any aspects of this show that resonate with your own lived experience? Uh, yeah. Um, honestly, when I first read the play, I had a hard time not seeing myself and my own daughter mm. um, doing the play. There's something about that generational split and where they both are in their careers and in their exploration of the field. Um, and in my case, my daughter is a scientist. She is also very dramatic and very much like me. So there was a part of me that just couldn't help imagine the two of us in this conversation that is sometimes at odds. Sometimes each of them are trying to learn from the other. Um, there are these moments of discovery uh, and that learning goes both ways. So that's one of those things that for me felt very personal. I learned so much from my, from my daughter. Um, it is not just a, you know, a relationship like any I think like any teacher student relationship teachers are always learning from students too so um, a part of that felt very personal to me. Why is it important that Theater B does uh, produces the how and the why? Uh, hmm. Well there are so many stories that are important um, and this one just seemed like a slam dunk for me. There are so many issues that it uh, delves into. Um, for me, I was particularly interested in the notion of the gender politics of science and the gender politics of academia, um, the kinds of decisions that women sometimes face that men don't, particularly with regard to um, sometimes that tension between career and family choices. 
And particularly when the play is written and when the play is set, I, as a mother at that time, really struggled a lot with how does one find that balance between what you know your brain can do and the energy that you have and the impact you could have in the world and then all of those constraints that tell you to make it smaller, make it smaller, stay in your home, do these things, take care of these things, don't necessarily do all of that broad, um, world-changing kind of work. And I think that's a, a struggle that a lot of women um, experience. So for me, that was one of the things that I felt was an issue that would lead to a lot of good soul-searching, conversation, uh, ways to think about the constraints that we place on people socially, um, and often for not really any good reason. <laughs> and finally, at Theater B, we really uh, value plays and art, works of art that spark discussion amongst the audience when they go home. So when the audience leaves here after seeing the how and the why, what kinds of conversations do you hope they're gonna be having? I hope they actually do ask themselves a little bit about um, about the notion of trusting their own ideas, trusting their own curiosity, um, getting out in the world and taking risk, uh, even when they don't quite know what that might lead to, um, recognizing the supports that they have uh, that might sometimes be surprising. You know, we often think of our family as our first support and then our work environment and then maybe our church environment, things like that. But I think um, that our social structure is more advanced than that. And there are supports in so many places um, that people can probably really reach out and do more if they sort of trust that there's a foundation there. I'd really be interested in what people do with regard to conversation about um, about sort of social place and breaking down some of those barriers and deciding that they could perhaps take some risks that they wouldn't have thought of before. Parting thoughts? Um, well, there's so much more to the play, but I don't want to give away the mystery. Maybe so just come see the how and the why? You just have to come see the how and the why opening February 18th.